Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm turning this uh, segmented uh, blank that I made myself. Um, it's Bubinga and English Ash. Um, it started as a uh, two by two pieces and I've cut them in, in fours and I've planed them so it's it was very flat so I made sure there is no it's not it's so flat that there is no gap inside there to avoid splitting you know when when turning because I'm going to turn a goblet out of this I had planned to cut it again into two centimeters squares and then turn it the other way around so it would look like a chess piece but the the reason I didn't do it is because it's, it's going to be goblet and I didn't want it to be that that weak because it's still going to be weak you know but straight like this it's it have more uh, more strength so I didn't do it this time because this piece is actually for for a charity that I work at and I, uh, I want to turn for them so this piece goes to them after I finished with it so I didn't want to take a risk and um, it being shattered and wasted so maybe next time when I'm doing it for myself and I take the, take the risk and do it and we'll end up with a nicer piece but this is still going to be uh, pretty nice because Bobinga and Ash is a good combination so yeah I'm going to get started now get this uh, rounded up and then I have a tenon on this side uh, and I'll then mount, mount it on the chalk and we'll start shaping the cup and hollowing it Okay, so I've got this rounded and I've uh, drilled a hole 32 millimeter force and a bit in there up to this line and I mark this line so I know where I should curve down so I'm going to have it curve down or on this line and then after that I'll show you guys the hollowing because uh, I don't like to drill a massive hole you know and do like a two minutes two minute hollowing there's just there's just no fun in that so I did a fairly small hole just so my um, carbide tool have a room to nicely cut it um, yeah I've I was thinking about the shape we're going to go for. I still not sure what I what I would like to do with this, but because of the patterns on the stem, if I do like a beads, 
it would look really interesting because of the the pattern so i gotta use that to my advantage to make it look much nicer because detail work on this sort of segmenting will look will give you uh, something that you didn't think you'll you'll achieve you know so we're gonna experiment with some beads and curves to make it look nice but on the cup of the goblet I'm not sure what design to go for to make it like I mean uh, I kind of think think about you guys a lot you know I think about my past videos what I showed you guys before and I don't want to repeat it uh, to make it boring for you guys I'm not sure if it's boring if I do the same design as before I mean you guys could let me know in the comments below if you mind but uh, I try to always change it a bit you know make a different design and along the way I might find a nice design that I really like so I guess it's good good practice for me and a little bit interesting for you guys to watch so I'll try to do a different design but yeah It's just there is limit to how 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 creative with this turning thing you could be, you know. I mean, you could do a lot of stuff like texturing stuff like that to make it different, but um, sometimes it would be a waste of inside, you know, the space inside for the goblets when you do different designs. Or the, uh, from the usual one you know like a curve You know, as I'm turning, I'm thinking of doing like a, you've seen a, a champagne wine, a glass, how it's from a wide goes to a narrow. I haven't done that before, so I think we should go for that, for that kind of design. At least kind of look like it because yeah yeah I haven't done that before I haven't done something like that before so we should do it we got kind of enough room for it you know
Okay, I'm going to uh, do some hollowing inside. Get this uh, a bit more more hollowed to the shape we want. I'm kind of not happy with this this here. Seems like a tiny bit of gap. I'm going to put some CA in there because I don't want this to to shatter. So just to make sure, but this thing I've been working on it for like a week. You know, every bit was glued and left overnight and everything. So it should be strong. You know, with uh, it was glued with a tight bond three. So it should should be very strong, but still I'm going to not take a chance, take a risk, you know, uh, and do some uh, put some uh, CA glue, thin CA glue, so it goes into the pores of the wood as well. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, carbide tool. Simon Hope uh, cover tool. So I'm going to just skip this part now and get this done with. Um, I'm going to take my time with this because that's why I don't want to record all of it because I don't want any catch at all. So this piece, uh, the, there's no chance to uh, it splitting. So I'm going to do that um, and then I'll show you guys the rest rest of the piece there we have it guys I've hollowed the inside and I've sanded it to 600 grit uh, it looks really nice like this you see that the texture it produced because of the shape so yeah I'm going to now apply the sanding sealer this this should bring out the color the color of the wood <clears throat> Okay guys, I've finished the inside and I've put a uh, couple of these uh, sponge pads in there so it's soft and then I'll put my tail stock there to give me a nice strength here for the stem when I, when I turn it down. I'm thinking of making this um, go a bit lower. I mean, I want to to stop around here. Otherwise, I think it'd be way too long because the hollowing stops the the cup stops from there. So having a kind of weight at the bottom is also nice. It's also good, but not too much. I don't want to be like too much, you know.
Okay guys, I'm going to now sand this up because when I get this smaller I don't want to be touching this part. So I'm going to sand this now and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll finish this part. Okay that's done now, that's uh, sanded down to 600, it's nice and silk, silky smooth. You know, very small. So, just this bit left. I'm not sure what what shape to do, but I guess we'll see how the texture gonna look. But I think if I make a bead, like a rounded bead, right in the middle here. Him, it would look nice but we will see I think I'm going to leave it as that. I didn't do the beat I told you about because I had to think about it while I was turning. It wouldn't feel comfortable like that. But but with this, you could hold it like that. You know, with two fingers. You know, it being nice and comfortable like that. Maybe I, I'll make it a bit a bit wider and narrower 
Yeah, I think I think that's done now. I'll sand it up and I'll show you guys the, the final coat that I'll put on it and we and I'll then part it off. I've uh, applied uh, two coats of uh, uh, sanding sealer and then uh, sanded it with the uh, 600 grit to get the that, uh, roughness out because the pores get open when you put the sanding sealer that's why you do another one but only the last grid that you will sand it with before because you don't want to sand into the wood you know so now I'm going to apply Marco crystalline wax this is food safe so and it's also right for alcohol I've checked so should be all right it's most likely going to be used as a decorative piece anyway but just in case this is uh, safe for that as well So I'll just show you guys what I do for the first coat and then I'll skip and uh, come back and show you guys after I've parted it off after the last coat. So. It. I'm going to let it dry for 20 minutes and then apply the next one. That's the only downside to this Marco Crystalline Wax. You gotta wait 20 minutes in between coats. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I've finished the last buffing. It's very, very shiny right now I hope you guys liked it I I really enjoyed turning this and it turned out really nice in my opinion let me know what you guys think next time I'm going to like if I do a segmented piece I'm going to have the uh, the cup part um like a chest chest piece so cut them again and then turn them that would give give us uh i think more interesting uh patterns but this one still turned out nice thank you all for watching uh, thank you for uh, supporting me by watching this video and all those who support me on patreon uh, I appreciate you guys uh, uh, caring 
uh, and supporting me um, I will try to do more projects uh, during weeks if I can but uh, sometimes I don't get to do uh, any project during the week because I'm busy working I wish I could have this uh, wood turning as my uh, primary job but uh, it's just not not uh, not working at the moment so hopefully one day I could do you guys daily videos I don't mind you know I love turning so yeah this will be for a, a charity that I go to uh, three times a week and I turn for them uh, it's for um, helping people with their mental illness mental issues and stuff like that so yeah it's going towards a good cause and yeah don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video please if you don't mind it will help to get the uh, word out you know get the video more popular and hopefully more people to watch them as always thank you uh, i'll talk to you guys on the next video take care